It was chaos in the cosmos as the last of Earth's ships zigzagged through the void, the cold light of distant stars reflecting off their metallic skins. Admiral Sato's voice crackled over the intercom, layering tension in the air that was already thick with desperation. Hard to starboard, launch countermeasures, she commanded, her tone as steely as the hulls of the ships she led. The hiss of escaping air, the boom of cannons, and the screech of metal on metal filled space as the rearguard sacrificed themselves to an alien menace, a menace that had hounded humanity to the brink of extinction. It was a chase that tugged at the very soul, a relentless predator on the heels of the fleet's last gasp for survival. The fleet pushed through the ambush, engines flaring in defiant bursts as they sought the temporal safety of the void beyond. Sato's mind was a whirlwind of calculation and risk, every option a gamble with lives as the wager. Through the viewport of the command deck, a trail of destruction marred the otherwise peaceful cosmos. Remnants of human resistance, now lost. Sato straightened her jacket, turning to face the eclectic mix of fear and resolve among her crew. The command deck was silent, the tension released momentarily with the escape. She cleared her throat, and heads turned her way, eyes seeking direction. We can't outfight them, she declared, her voice resounding against the walls. But we can outsmart them. The map of the known universe glowed to life behind her, a smattering of systems and stellar wonders, a testament to human exploration now turned to desolation. She reached out, her fingers brushing over the hologram, and the fleet officers looked on in anticipation. We are leaving the solar system, she said, her words hanging for a moment before settling down like gravity itself. Murmurs swirled among the crew, some voices shock-tinged, others relieved or even eager to flee the familiar graveyard of their past. We find a new home, Sato continued, her eyes hardened with resolve. A home out of the reach of those who would see us extinct. We are not merely survivors. We are the seed of a new beginning. The intention was clear, the plan radical. It was a gambit for the future, a leap into the ocean of stars with hopes of an unknown shore. The last fleet of Earth, battered, bruised, but unbroken, would journey into the expanse to seek a safe haven. The fleet drifted towards what once had been humankind's stellar triumph, a derelict space station orbiting a forsaken planet. Its skeletal structure, a maze of dark corridors and abandoned halls promised supplies and a pause from the relentless pursuit. Admiral Sato's teams ventured into the hollowed carcass with magnetic boots echoing in the silence, headlamps piercing the station's gloom. It was an eerie ballet, each movement methodical, searching for life-sustaining provisions amidst the technological graveyard. In the command center, a console flickered to life at the brush of a dust-covered hand. A dormant AI, its circuits sluggishly awakening, glanced at the intruders with a digital eye. The crew's pulse thrummed to the rhythm of potential discovery. Data banks were full of schematics, locations of resources, and, most valuable of all, coordinates to potentially habitable planets. As Sato oversaw the operation, the anticipation was palpable. Fingers danced across the console, channeling the AI's knowledge into the fleet's databases. Yet as streams of information poured in, an undercurrent of trepidation lingered, an unspoken dread amid the hope. And then, as if conjured by their collective fears, the beacon turned bane. Alarms wailed throughout the station, a sinister red painting their startled faces. The AI, revealed to be a dormant sentinel, became their betrayer, an interstellar siren calling the enemy to their doorstep. With little time to mourn the trap they'd sprung, the last fleet's thrusters flared to life once more, the recent haven of the station now a burgeoning battlefield. Alien vessels, sleek and predatory, emerged from the dark, answering the AI's call. The encounter was violent, a dance of destruction between predator and prey. The fleet retaliated with the ferocity of cornered beasts, their weapons searing through the void. Defenses were manned with a mixture of fury and terror, every explosion, 
a testament to the razor's edge between life and death. It was a new trajectory, both metaphorically and literally, as the last fleet peeled away from the snare, nursing wounds that ran deeper than the breaches in their hulls. Amid the chaos, Sato's gaze hardened, a resolve tempered within the crucible of survival. The knowledge had been a costly lesson, one written in the lives of her crew, and as the fleet limped away from their dashed sanctuary, the weight of leadership bore upon her, not only to navigate the void, but to shepherd the beleaguered spirits trailing in her wake. The steel corridors of the flagship reverberated with the echoes of dissent. A council of commanders had gathered, drawn faces illuminated by the dim overhead lights, revealing the gravity of their situation. Resources had dwindled. What had been abundant at the journey's onset now barely covered their needs. There was unrest among the ranks, a creeping sense of every ship for itself that threatened to unravel the fabric of their fragile unity. Admiral Sato stood firm at the head of the table, her eyes a calm in the storm of trepidation that spiraled around her. She listened as accusations and suspicions were volleyed across the table. Trust, once taken for granted, had become a casualty of their plight, as commanders voiced concerns of hoarded supplies and whispered conspiracies. Then, in a moment that would sear itself into the annals of their exodus, the betrayal unfolded. A commander, once loyal, now a defector, revealed his treachery. His plan had been to barter the last fleet's course for a safe haven promised by the alien foe. Hatred and outrage flared like a supernova, the act a malignant tumor that threatened to consume them from within. Admiral Sato acted with measured haste, quelling the turmoil with a decisiveness that echoed the clang of bulkhead doors. The traitor was detained, his grim fate sealed, but the wound he'd left was a festering doubt that spread amongst the crew. Chaos had threatened to claim the last fleet, but Sato refused to succumb. She reached deep into her well of fortitude, addressing her crew not as disparate survivors, but as one united entity with a common goal. Through the intercom, her voice became a beacon, rallying her people against the night that sought to consume them. Her orders were clear. Unity and resolve would guide them. Once more, the Admiral became the glue holding together the seam of their strained coalition. And though morale was a flickering flame in the wind, Sato became the shield to guard it, her leadership the promise of the enduring spirit of humanity. The fleet, now a semblance of its former self yet bound by a newfound unity, traversed the cold expanse with Admiral Sato's resolve pulsing through its veins. A sense of rhythm had settled over the ships, a cadence of purpose amidst the uncertainty. That was until a shadow far greater than any star loomed over their journey. An alien superweapon, so colossal it dwarfed even the grandest of Earth's old monuments, fixed its ominous gaze upon them. The crews stood transfixed, staring into the abyss of their potential annihilation, their harrowing journey reduced to mere fleeing before this monstrous creation. Sato's voice cut through the dread, each word not just a command, but a lifeline. Into the asteroid field, she ordered, targeting the cluster of rock and ice that promised a deadly maze over an open space confrontation. The fleet dove into the gravitational dance of the field, a ballet set to the music of cosmic danger. The alien weapon discharged, beams of light and energy crackling through space, turning asteroids into dust and vapor. Each explosion a terrifying reminder that safety was but an illusion. Ships weaved through the chaos, their hulls narrating the dangers with every dent and scar left by near misses. Damage reports bled in, a litany of sorrow and perseverance against unflagging odds. Sato's heart clenched with each loss, the price of their survival marked by the silence of crew members who became memories. Despair clawed at her, but the Admiral held fast, her will a bulwark against the tide of hopelessness. The fleet emerged from the asteroid field, not unscathed, not whole, but alive and forward-moving. The gamble had paid in the currency of spirit and metal. This brush with obliteration cemented their resolve. It was death they had faced, and it was life they had chosen. 
Amid the heady rush of survival, Sato's eyes remained fixed upon the path ahead, her soul attuned to the fleet's palpable despair. Together, they had braved the darkness, and together, they would find the light. The last fleet of Earth, scarred from their arduous journey, faced the vastness with heavy hearts, but a glimmer of hope. Admiral Sato, the embodiment of their persistence, gazed upon the hollow screen where the final battle was about to unfold. The habitable planet's coordinates were locked in, the culmination of all they had endured now just beyond the looming fray. Their alien pursuers amassed, a wall of hostility against the backdrop of the infinite. War-weary but resolved, the fleet mustered their courage for the confrontation that would dictate their fate. Systems engaged, weapons armed, the fleet braced for the onslaught. Sato's stratagem unfolded, a weaving of human tenacity and the cunning the AI gifted them before its deception. The fleet divided and converged, danced away and circled back, a whirlwind of maneuvers that turned their cohesion into a weapon itself. As the skirmish escalated, explosions scattered across the void, painting a picture of war's indiscriminate appetite. Fighters swarmed, lasers sliced through the vacuum, and hulls bore the brunt of the alien anger. With each passing second, the fleet edged closer to survival, or extinction. Admiral Sato's allies fought with the ferocity of those with everything to gain and too much to lose. Voices crackled with updates, the cacophony of battle in her ears, but her focus never wavered. When a trusted friend's ship spun into the ether, a casualty to the chaos, her resolve hardened like the steel of the ship's bones, she commanded. With the debris of both foe and friend spiraling into the dark, the battle turned, a moment of silence in the fury signaling the shift. The alien armada faltered, faltering under the relentless resolve of humanity's last stand. In the end, it was a victory that tasted of ash and iron, a bittersweet testament to their indomitable spirit. For when the dust settled and the hush spread through the ranks, the path to the habitable planet lay open, a door to the future bought with the noblest sacrifice. The remaining vessels of Earth's last fleet hovered in the orbit of their new sanctuary, the planet's serene blue hue a stark contrast to the void they had traversed. Before them lay the untamed world they would call home, its vast oceans and continents a canvas for their rebirth. Admiral Sato, her image reflected in the viewport, stood witness to the end of an odyssey and the dawn of hope. The hushed murmurs of her crew were laden with sorrow for the comrades they had left among the stars, but in their words there was also the unwavering promise of tomorrow. On the planet's surface, beneath skies untouched by war, Sato led her people in a solemn memorial. They gathered amidst the alien flora, their heads bowed, not in defeat, but reverence for the brave souls whose valor had carried them to this second chance. Names were recited, each a beacon of sacrifice lighting the way for the living. When the silence came, heavy with memory, Sato faced her people. We honor them not with our tears, she declared, her voice steady and sure, but with our actions. We build here not just a new home, but a legacy that their spirit forged. From the ashes of our past, we rise. With the ceremony at its end and the sky darkening to twilight, the survivors dispersed, each carrying within them the seeds of humanity's potential. Together, they set forth, sowing the foundations of society, the bedrock of community, and the inception of family in this untouched world. And as the first structures rose against the dusk, as the cries of the firstborn children under alien constellations echoed, Admiral Sato gazed upon the horizon. There was work to be done, a future to be molded, and a past to be remembered. On this new soil, under these strange stars, humanity would thrive again. The legacy of the last fleet would live on in every stone placed, every tree planted, and every life begun anew. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, please like and subscribe.